So here I have a Fluke 175 digital model meter. Now this model, as is normal, doesn't have a backlight option here. Now the 177 and 179, they both have the backlight, which is this next extra button. And when I did the teardown review of this thing, which I'll probably stick a link in up there or something in the description, if it's not there, ask me in the comments. I did the teardown and found that there's actually a backlight installed, it still has a backlight. There's just no button for it. So I did the usual thing and got carried away. So I found on eBay there's actually a fluke supplier there. They actually sell fluke parts, genuine parts. Here's the button assembly. We'll put this in. May require some modifications. So let's get this thing pulled apart. So if you have a 175 and you feel like having a backlight, then you should be able to do the same thing or something similar to it. You might be able to make your own button up. All it needs is a carbonized rubber pad or something like that there to actually um, make contact with a circuit board. And they could even make, make your own one up if you really wanted to. Try and get this off. I hate these 9 volt battery clips. I really don't like them. The amount of times I've broken the actual clip itself, the connector. Done that so many times. Now we can take the back panel off. It's got a clip up the top as well, brightly. There we go. So here's this existing button assembly here. We'll take that out. Get the replacement one. And that should fit. That's the first test before we do anything else. Make sure it actually fit. Okay, that fits. So that should actually push and work. So what I'm going to do is plug the battery back in. I yeah, probably could lift it in actually. Uh, rain switch, just turn it around by one or something. All right, and there we go. Backlight is working. So now I need to modify the front panel. Get the original one. Put this to one side as a spare. The other eye. Who knows what will happen in the future? So you can see that round section just there, right? In here. So I can't tell you if it's an insert inside the mould, which I then change the blanket, or whether it's a blank inside the plastic here. I can't tell which one it is yet. I think it's probably an insert inside the mould. That's the way that I would have done it if I was designing this thing. But you can see a witness mark around the outside there. Now could this be the mould itself? Because it's got this rounded edge, its radius to when it comes in on the original. So. I don't think that's an insert, I think it's part of this mould. So I don't think I can just push this out. But we'll have a look, we'll give it a push, see if anything happens. Nothing happening, that is moulded in. So, we need to drill it. Now let's drill this hole out. I'll try and get this centred. Because if it's off centre, the button may not push properly. I'm intentionally drilling slowly, I don't want to go too deep yet. So I'm trying to adjust the position. This job seems to be a bit blunt. Now, what I need to do is figure out what size I need the final drill to be. Have to measure that, see what size it is. Right, just about through with this one. That's still looking fairly well centred. It's drifted up very slightly. We'll see how it goes, but I think six is probably a little bit small. I'm probably going to need to get like this thing in here anyway and, and take the burrs off the edges anyway. Anyway, that did go, so we'll take this back out of here. Drop it in here, see so it will go through. Not yet, it needs to be bigger. That's such a tight fit, which is going to be no good, so let's go to 7mm. Now let's do a test, see if it works. Yep, works. Sweet as. That does a job. That's not binding up on the side, it's got a bit of a gap there, so it's got a bit of movement. Happy with that? Excellent. Now I've just got to put it back together. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you're first time here, and check out the playlist at the end.
the down here, down here, subscribe link over here, Patreon support link over there if you want to help me to buy things for videos and business test gear and what have you. Bye.